Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use sorting or order by in select statement in SQL Server to return the sorted output data. Now, let's open the SSMS and connect to the SQL Server. So once I select the SQL Server instance, hit connect, and then you will see the databases tab. Click there and go to the database where your tables or views does exist. In my case, I'm going to use Tech Brothers IT. Go to tables and let's uh, get the data from total sale table right click select top thousand rows i'm not interested in a top thousand rows so i'm gonna remove that uh, clause and just select everything now if i would like to return the sorted data i need to use the order by clause with the column names now here you see that i have id one and that goes to 11 and then we have one id two id again so if i want to see a sorted uh, data output for by id i can use something like this i will say order by and then say id now that's it and you click execute and you see the data is our output is sorted by id so you can see that it is sorted by ascending order. Even we did not mention ascending, but uh, SQL Server understand that if you will not uh, provide me ascending uh, or the order in front of the column, I need to sort that as ascending. Just to make sure you want, you can type uh, ascending if you like, uh, this will be doing the same thing. Uh, so you see that our data is sorted uh, uh, by ID and in ascending order. Now, if I would like to go ahead and sort by the call sale person first name, I can use that one. Let's copy and paste here. You can see that uh, our data is sorted by, now it is sorted by sale person first name. We see Amir, Amir and all that. Then we have Alina. So it is sorted by ascending order. And uh, you can see that sale person last name is coming as it is. Uh, let's say if we would like to sort this one as uh, ascending as well. So we can include that column. So just put the comma here and now bring the sale person last name. It's your choice you want to type ascending or not. Uh, that, that, that doesn't matter because it's going to take uh, this one as ascending if you do not provide uh, the order here. So. Uh, right now you can see that we have Shehzad on top and Ali is on the third one here. So as we are uh, going to sort by first name and then uh, by last name, so this will come on the first uh, when we we'll run this query. Now you see that uh, we have uh, Amir and then we have Ali. So this is uh, they both are sorted uh, by ascending and uh, you can see right here. That's great. Now uh, again we can type it ascending if you would like. It's a good idea. I always uh, do that so I don't get confused like I, if I'm using all the ascending order or descending. Uh, the same way if you would like to order by descending uh, you can type descending here. It will be DESC and uh, you can also use DESC here. Now you see that uh, this is a order by sale person first name and uh, we are using descending order and here sale person last name also we are using descending order you can also use uh, ascending uh, one for one ascending and other descending let's say if i would like to have sale person first name and that's where i would like to order by ascending order and the sale person last name descending if i run this whole thing uh, you can see here this uh, is uh, the whole data set is uh, ordered by sale person first name ascending and sale person last name descending so you can include as many columns as you like and order them the way you want. Now, we learn how to use ascending and descending to order our data uh, in uh, different orders uh, such as ascending and descending. Also, if we would not uh, or if we do not want to use the column names, we can use uh, the column numbers. So let's say we have ID, sale person, first name. And if we would like to, this is the first column we have here. If I would like to order by ID and instead of uh, type an ID I can always type one so you see that now it is the order by ID and uh, if I want to order by sale person last uh, first name so you see this is the second column so I can provide second so instead of uh, providing the names of the column you can provide the numbers though. so just make sure if uh, you are uh, let's say uh, you are doing dynamic SQL, your columns are returned in a different way uh, and 
maybe you don't want to use the numbers uh, if you are um, pivot and not pivot and all those kind of thing sometime you don't want to return the records uh, and uh, then um, um, see the order can change in those type of column maybe you are doing dynamic sql and it return you more columns and you say oh okay i wanted to always uh, uh, order by this one and but this return me something different so i will recommend using the names you know instead of that numbers but again it's your choice if you feel like okay i always have this order of the columns and this is what i want to um, sort you find you can provide the uh, numbers here of the columns uh, and uh, otherwise you can provide the name your choice uh, let's say if we would like to do the same thing sale person first name and last name i want to go and sale person first name ascending order uh, you see that uh, this is done right if i want to do descending i will say okay so sale person first name i want to do descending and uh, also sale person last name i want to do descending order so execute so right here you see if i will remove this uh, descending then first will be ascending order the other one will be descending so you see that here right here great so again your choice uh, go with the names or go with the numbers i recommend going with the names it it helped me but there could be situations where you will or you need to use uh, the column numbers instead of uh, using the column names thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video